CIO Tech Outlook serves as the platform for CIOs and CXOs to share their views on the challenges in implementation of novel technologies and ways to address them. Based on a peer-to-peer -peer learning model, it brings together the enterprise technology buyers and solution providers. Hello and welcome to CIO Tech Panel. My name is Sudhakar Singh. I will be moderating today's discussion. The topic for today's webinar is collaboration in the era of hybrid work. Developing a hybrid first work model starts with the tools people use every day to connect and collaborate, but it can only be realized with a single connected experience. This is what Google Workspace enables. Today, we will try to understand how. We have some eminent guests on the panel today who will delve deep into this and provide us with a clear picture. On the panel today, we have Sujata Dusi, lead customer engineer, Google Workspace, she is a customer engineering lead specialized in Google Workspace for India. She has more than 16 years of experience in collaboration, security, and server management space. Then we have Satyajit Puvalekar, Sales Director, Cloud, Econ's IT Services Private Limited. He has expertise in business development, account management, alliance management, networking, cloud consulting, analytics, big data, big query, and more. Then we have Bhushan Nadkhedkar, Head of Work Transformation Cloud Econ's IT Services Private Limited. He's a solutions engineer skilled in consulting clients about cloud-based solutions. He understands clients' legacy solutions and provides insights on smooth business transition towards their journey to cloud. So without any further ado, I would like to invite Ms. Sujata to share her views on powering the hybrid work model with Google Workspace and Google Cloud. Over to you, Ms. Sujata. I wanted to give you a brief about Workspace, first of all, uh, because it is that true cloud solution which helps you to communicate and collaborate effectively with your users within your organization. There are three major areas or pillars that we speak about when we speak about collaboration and communication. First, on how users connect with one another and create content and go towards a more data-driven approach while using the right data to power their actions. And finally, a control aspect as to how organizations have continued control and security on all of the actions of end users as well as their data. Connect, as the name suggests, is majorly around how users can communicate and connect with one another. They can send emails, calendar, chat, all of the audio video conferencing requirements of the end users, along with learning and development platform where educators can connect with end users and have that upskilling and onboarding experience in any every organization. Along with AppSheet, which is a absolute no code platform, helping you to create workflows, no code applications, and also build specific requirements to meet any kind of actions like a hot desking app or a guest visitor app or project management app. Something which every and any user can be empowered with. While these are majorly from the connect aspect, we also have another major pillar called create. Again, to give the end users the power of the right editors, a full suite, which consists of Google Docs, Sheets and Slides, helping you to seamlessly have 100 people simultaneously communicate and collaborate among themselves. All of it powered with other aspects like Google Forms, Sites, Keep for quick note taking. Jamboard for whiteboarding and all of it with extensible APIs for every service, which can be achieved through AppScript. There are also several add-ons which can be captured from the marketplace, which will help you further strengthen or extend the solution to other services that may be helpful for you as an end user. Admins have full control on the organization because whether it is 
cloud storage that is being provided to end users, whether it's a my drive or a shared drive of the users, or even the security controls, the native controls that are built into the platform in order to give you the best of email security, data security, as well as access security. Device management is built into the platform, which helps you with secure mobile access, whether it is Android or iOS when accessing the services. Along with a strong security center, which has enough dashboards and investigation tools, which power an admin to investigate or get into details of any issue that's happening. The platform itself is compliant with all of the regulatory needs, whether it is ISO 27001, 27018, 90, uh, whether it is SOC 2, SOC 3, it's compliant with all of them. Workspace is currently being used by over 3 plus billion monthly active users. That itself explains on the popularity of the platform and how users are familiar with using the solution or the services at any point of time. We have over 7.5 plus billion daily meeting minutes that are, that are being handled by the platform, which helps you understand the scale at which it runs. 40 of the 42 unicorn entrants of 2021 are on Google Workspace. The platform is also used by several colleges, universities globally. So your next generation of employees are growing up on Google Workspace. Now, how is Google Workspace really bringing in that culture of innovation? First and foremost is the power of search. Workspace helps you to quickly look up for information across the platform, whichever an end user has access to. It's estimated that almost 20% of an end user's time is just spent on looking up for content and when they don't find that content, they end up recreating that content. With Workspace, you never need to worry about any information missing because any keyword, whether it is in the title, within the text, within images or PDFs, you can quickly look up through the search that is embedded in all of the services. Workspace brings in the right agility for end users irrespective of where they are connected, home, hybrid, at office, on the go, you still have the flexibility as well as the integrated experience to connect and communicate. All of it through the same Gmail interface, whether it is on your mobile or the web. You get access to chat, you get multiple people communicating on spaces and also have a side pillar for accessing the meetings and seamlessly click and join through them. So the overall idea is to reduce the context switching, which we believe, again, takes a lot of time and affects the productivity of an end user. The best part about Google Workspace is that it also works offline. So you don't need to worry about the end users not having internet connectivity while in a hybrid mode or on the go because you can still work offline, access emails, access your calendar or files and create content on the Google editors. Workspace ensures all your users are always connected. Irrespective again of which device, how they are, where they are situated, they're still connected, they can collaborate, get on audio video meetings and get things here, get things done because you are never dependent on a single device to get your work done. All the documents, the content is on the cloud and can be equally accessed from any device as long as approved by your organization. And the cherry on the cake, Workspace makes it really easy and fun for end users. There's a lot of AI that runs in the background which makes it real fun for end users to go to work and get things done on a day-to-day -day basis. Several things like autocomplete of sentences, things like voice typing on a document, or whether it is captions in your meetings. There are embedded aspects which make things easy 
as well as interactive and fun for end users so overall what we truly believe is that the power of cloud and also a true cloud solution helps you with better security as well as productivity because no app to install no worry about patchwork applications it completely reduces your surface attack for any kind of vulnerabilities end users experience a minimum learning curve because they are very very familiar with the platform and all of the services while improving the productivity of the end users to get things done access things on the same browser and truly brings in that culture of innovation because everyone can contribute their ideas on the documents so no one feels left out i would now like to invite mr satyajit to explain how econs can add value in implementation of google cloud technologies the idea is not just about google workspace is it i mean we've been talking about the hybrid work model we've been talking about return to office we've been talking about what companies exactly we've been hearing about it uh, what companies exactly are doing in order to get their employees back to work in their office but at the same time there is a trend also that's coming in that says hey you know what uh, i would like to work in office for 3 to 4 days in a week but one or two days i'd like to work from home i'd like to work from a cafe i'd like to work uh, while i'm traveling and so on and so forth having said this though uh, i just wanted to quickly talk about uh, what exactly google has been doing not just in the consumer world but how exactly they've been bringing these technologies in the enterprise world as well one of them is google workspace but here are some statistics for you right as sujatha mentioned before there are 3 billion active monthly users using gmail on a daily basis right i think it's fair to assume and say that we all use google chrome as an as our internet browser that's what the stats also suggest 89.89.05% market share in the browsers in india and that trend has quickly caught up in the enterprise section quite a long time ago and it continues to grow by the day right when it comes to a mobile phone operating system android uh i think is a clear market leader especially in india with 95.4 uh, 95.84 percent market share and last but not least i mean google search right when we when we all think about google we all the first thing that probably comes in everyone's minds is google search a 98.52 percent market share for this in india if you actually observe over here all of these technologies have been wrapped up by google Uh, with privacy policies sla's security uh, compliances and admin console to for for you guys to actually manage them right so what does this exactly translate to from a google workspace point of view which is your email communication and collaboration platform all of this like sujatha and uh, sujatha had mentioned also before it's a massive infrastructure that almost really never goes down we actually check google.com to see if the internet is running or not right that's that's the reliability and scalability that google has to offer for your enterprises now right we also are talking about providing the tools all of us have probably a gmail.com account right all of us most probably in our consumer or our private lives use google drive to store our store our important documents like pan aadhar and so on and so forth so we are already familiar with all of these tools what you are doing is you are providing your employees to the tools that they already know right which basically goes to say that it provides zero to negligible change uh, change management and training which which also in turn means that you just deploy google workspace at at your office and the employees can start picking up from where uh, picking up immediately also what you are doing in return is you are actually giving them freedom to work right freedom to work from any place any device whether it's going to be your laptop or desktop or even a mobile phone or a tablet a lot of companies have started again 
uh, bringing the policy of BYOD, bring your own device, right? And of course, all of these tools can be accessed, any tools and applications can be accessed anytime as well, right? This, in our opinion, actually supports the hybrid work model and the return to office in all of these different models that companies as of today have been facing challenges for. What you as an IT leader are doing for your company is bringing in more security and control. And more security and control basically talks about these different, different uh, uh, solutions. We are talking about identity as a service. So you can create a user identity within the Google workspace itself and provide context aware access to your uh, to your applications bases, the employees and the roles that they carry in your company. There's a single sign on built in as well, a mobile device management, which is typically for your Android and iOS devices. So all of these applications, including your core apps, by the way, can be controlled and managed very, very securely through the mobile device management of Google workspace itself. You also have an XP based policies. Google Workspace is the right solution, especially the cloud identity premium part of it. And if you are interested in knowing more, of course, we would want to, you know, talk about this more in, in our Q&A session also in some time. You also have information rights management built in, which means if you want that an email should actually expire in a particular date or a time uh, or within a week's time, uh, you can actually have that email uh, control. If you want to have, if you're sharing a document or a sheet or, or even a presentation and you want to uh, ensure that people will just be able to view these uh, slides, uh, view the content and not be able to print, download or copy, copy it, you've got the information rights management built in, in this as well. Then there is an amazing data, data loss prevention solution built in within the Google Workspace Admin Console where you can have a lot of different policies uh, uh, that can sort of stop the data being pushed outside of your organization, right? You've got the anti-spam and antivirus. I think Google is, in our opinion, as econs, uh, is one of the best anti-spam and antivirus solutions provided because all of that technology is built in. And I've not even mentioned backup and DR because, uh, uh, and that's an additional part as well. If you have compliance, for example, if you want to retain a document or a chat or an email for seven years, 10 years, 12 years, Google Workspace can actually easily help you in doing with the email document and chat retention tool that's built in again. And of course, it provides you tons of logs and security has to offer is 176 plus different security based policies. I've not seen that in any other solution. Right. And we're more than happy to have a one on one session with you guys as well, if you would be interested. 176 plus different security based policies that can be as basic as DKIM and SPF, uh, providing, uh, preventing from spoofing, phishing, malware attacks, and so on and so forth, to data loss prevention as well. Right? Essentially, you as an IT leader, what you're doing is you are actually simplifying your infrastructure, right? If you actually take a business productivity suite, you what you are essentially doing is you are providing your employees with, say, for example, a mail, a chat solution, uh, uh, a file storage, an office productivity suite like your doc sheets and slides, a survey tool probably that's needed specifically, say, from your HR or marketing standpoint of view or support standpoint of view as well. Uh, and then there is an intranet portal as well. Along with that, there are many other applications. These all suite of applications actually form a office, uh, a business productivity suite. What we're trying to say over here is you've got a single management console to manage all of these productivity apps and also the devices on which they are used. So when a user basically joins you, uh, uh, that's what this point is about. Having said this, I would just want to talk a little more about Econs, who we are and what we do. We are a 2006 uh, founded company. We are about 100 plus employees strong. Uh, we are a specialist in work transformation and we are a great, great place to work certified as well. 
we've got about 2500 plus customers globally majority of it in, is in india though we are based out of bangalore with branches not just in india but also in the gulf and the uk as well i wanted to talk a little more about what our vision and mission is because this is where we really believe that we can add value to you as your to your company right our vision is to transform the way the organizations work by harnessing the power of cloud and our mission is basically to be your integral partner so that we can help you in achieving what your business goals are by leveraging the technology that google cloud has to provide we typically work uh, on three different fronts with google one is the google workspace which is what this session is about then there is a chrome enterprise you'd be surprised how chrome is quickly catching up the wave in india and uh, then the second one is the google cloud platform which is your infrastructure as a service and platform as a service right we're not just a company that just consults and tells you which technology and these things you can buy but we also help you in implementing them manage those implementations and also say that hey you know what this is the best way you can enhance your existing solution or process or or a, a situation as well right all of that basically leads for us to have an infrastructure modernization a digital transformation within your company and of course the workplace transformation as well which is what this session has been about uh while we have a lot of services on the chrome and gcp front as well this is where we typically end up adding a lot of value to, regarding google workspace you've got the setup and data migration which is which is quite basic and bhushan will be covering a little more about these uh, these services anyways uh we help you set up google workspace on your domain if you're using any other email solution or a communication collaboration platform we help you migrate that data away from that legacy system to the new google workspace platform as well while we did mention that there is no change management and training session required required that's actually true but it's a common situation where you would want to buy when you end up buying a software or a technology uh in your in your company chances are that you're using this technology only to say 50 to 60% of its potential right we are talking about change management and introducing training sessions for those advanced features and how you can make use of them so that you can optimize your processes reduce turnaround times you can build in more productivity have more innovation running in your company and so on and so forth there is an advisory services and advanced engagement uh, as well because as in my previous slide i mentioned there are 160 176 plus different security based policies only right how is it that you can actually go ahead and deploy all of these apps very securely to your end users or employees so that they can access these things without any doubt uh, and of course i mean what we are talking about is a security assessment process optimization and so on and so forth which is what we cover in the advanced engagement last but not least we also help your employees especially the it teams go through a lot of certification programs directly from google uh, so it sort of helps your company to become independent of us as a uh, support provider uh, and and of course i mean they you can manage all of these issues uh, if there are any on your own itself i would like to invite mr bhushan to throw light on deployment of google workspace and how simple it can be to migrate so uh, with respect to the google workspace deployment so uh, every every product have their aspects okay so in deploy google workspace deployment also we do have uh, different aspects or i will say it's a general overview of google workspace deployment which include your domain provisioning uh, domain provisioning is nothing but whatever the domain you are using maybe with your current uh, mail system or the current any collaboration tool so we can provision that domain into google uh, google repository then the second part is the domain verification so domain verification is nothing but it's uh, proving your ownership of the domain otherwise 
any person can do the domain verification of any of the domains. So domain verification is quite important and it will uh, give Google uh, or the show the Google that, okay, you are the owner of the domain. Third one is user and the group provisioning. So there are uh, different ways uh, while you are doing the or creation of user. Uh, I'll go through with, with those things as well. Fourth and most important thing is email authentication. When it comes to the security on the DNS level, so email authentication plays an important role. As uh, Satya mentioned that we do have a security implementation and plan across to all, all our customer. Fifth one is the three-phase deployment method. So it is a proven methodology from Google for deploying the Google workspace. And it has been quite used by large customer as well as a small customer also. And the sixth and most important is the data migration. So I'll just go through with one by one. Uh, the first thing is domain provisioning. So domain provisioning is nothing but you just need to provision your domain in Google repository or the Google uh, in environment. So if the your domain is valid and all those things are there, so it is very easy task. So as a partner, we'll do the provisioning for you uh, for the Google workspace. Now, uh, when you are talking about the provisioning of user, so there are different methods and uh, different uh, technology we can use for provisioning the user. If let's say if you are using Active Directory or maybe any identity provider, we can easily integrate those solution with the Google Workspace. So if you want to continue with the Active Directory as an identity provider, you can still go ahead and continue with the Active Directory, but if if you are if you want don't want to use the Active Directory or if you just discontinue the your identity provider, so Google will become the identity provider and Google can also integrate some other services using uh, uh, SAML or the LDAP. So there are different ways to integrate uh, application with the Google, but the user provisioning is more towards it's a, like a manual provisioning. If you want to do manual provisioning, there is a CSV upload option is also there. Again, I, I just mentioned that there is a directory sync option. So you can just sync your active directory or whatever the directory tool you are using with the Google using the LDAP or whatever the capabilities are there. Now I'll move to the three phase deployment method. Why it is a phase by phase manner or why it is not a big bang approach. Why? Because uh, the thing is, if we go with the phase by phase approach and the customer is a large customer having maybe 10,000 users. So uh, we always believe in the smooth transition where there will be no downtime and uh, there will be no impact on the end user. As uh, Satya and Sudhata mentioned, uh, Google Workspace is not only meant for the IT team or it is not only meant for the particular department. It is a change for the entire organization. So we'll make sure this change will not impact your end user, will not impact your business and will not impact your any day-to-day -day life thing. So uh, Google always suggests that go with the phase by phase manner deployment so that it will not uh, disturb your any of your routine. So uh, in, in three phase uh, deployment, uh, there are there are uh, uh, first phase is the core IT. So it is meant for the IT team. So let's say uh, if, if, the, if the organization having maybe 50 IT members in their organization, so we'll target those core uh, IT team first and then we'll do the migration for them and we'll start of the survey Google workspace service for them. Let them <clears throat> comfort, let them get that comfortness and all those things in the Google workspace and we'll move to the next phase, which is an early adopter. So early adopter is uh, more to do that. We'll consider 15% of the entire organization, but it depends uh, or you can customize as per the requirement as well. And the last phase is the global glow line. 
so global goal i is like uh, entire organization is now moved to the google workspace your mx is also pointing to the google workspace and all of your services are now enabled or uh, maybe uh, it is it, all the users are now using the google workspace so that will be considered as a go, global goal i but uh, we uh, or google always suggest like go with the very minimal data so that your goal i date will be uh will be like and sooner or maybe within the one month also you can able to go live and yes definitely the last part is support uh, as a as a part of uh, econs we do have a dedicated support team which support you throughout the transition after deployment also and then we'll uh, have some engagement plan as well i'll complete it to that now these are the some migration tool which is again from the google uh, there are no third party tool which we are using so chances of uh, data leakage or anything will not be there it is uh, pro uh, these tools are very much proven tool and uh, used by many many organization and even though the complex migration as well so first one is the google workspace migrate it will be used for it, actually it is used for only the complex or the large migration and it will migrate any type of data to the google workspace when i am saying any type of data it doesn't mean that mail calendar contact because these are the common data type which uh, any organization wants to migrate but when there is a case of file or the maybe sharepoint if you want to migrate to google workspace then this is the tool google workspace migrate where you can migrate your sharepoint data to google workspace as well in a seamless manner so when i'm saying the seamless so there is no downtime there is no impact on end user while doing the migration because migration is a back end activity so it team and even the partner uh, collaboration will use to do uh, uh, carry out this migration from the back end second one tool is the google workspace migration for microsoft exchange it is a very old tool and which is used for imap or maybe the pst migration when customer do have their data in the pst or in the local file you can able to migrate this data to uh, google workspace even though this tool can help you to migrate your archive data into the google e discovery or the archive platform uh which we called it as a google vault so there is a direct option you can migrate your archive data to the e discovery so there is no end user interaction or there is no end user involvement in this migration third tool is uh, i know that scl notes uh, uh, now it is been uh, not used by uh, mostly it is uh, i will say 5% usage is there on the scl note but whenever you are doing the scl notes migration it is complex and uh, there is a tool from the google which will migrate your scl notes data to google workspace and again when i am saying this tool these tools are uh, used by large organization even though the smb and the vsb as well so uh, as um, satya mentioned that uh, whenever you are moving to google workspace there is no requirement of change management or the training but i i am i'm not saying change management only meant for the training but change management it is like an cultural change it's a behavioral change of your employee now how google will help you while making those changes in your organization so we'll make sure as a partner we'll make sure that your users will get a lot more advantage or they can use lot more features from the google workspace okay so when i'm saying the lot more features it is not only just the mailing mail sending out the email and all those thing but there are collaboration platform there is a connect platform and on top of there is something called as a app script so app script is nothing but an uh, uh, we can say it is like an macro in uh, microsoft excel but uh, app script is like an on top of uh, google workspace application you can do some sort of customization as per your requirement and it helps a lot of process uh, let's say 
if you are doing some manual process or the paperwork if you if you need to set it up some sort of workflow from the google workspace you can able to do it very seamlessly okay and there is no additional uh, requirement of of, uh, of of a developer or the maybe you don't need to hire any developer there are codes directly available in google uh, transformation gallery you can use the same code and utilize the power of google workspace